these amphibians are the ones that are helping the system. And we have so many of those amphibians in Canada, in North America. One thing that makes me sad really, because we're talking to also a number of Iranian Canadians mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. is look, we have so many people who have double lives. It seems that they're amphibians. We have the ones who actually have lots of interest and money in Iran and then do some currency exchange and come to Canada, enjoy freedom in Canada, but they also worry for their interests in Iran and they don't want the system to change. And these people are the ones, I'm not just talking right now about Iranian Canadians, but also Iranians in different countries that they sure. talk to the governments to their governments to somehow support this regime in a way. They want the nuclear deal to help them actually have business from their new homes with Iran. And the big problem is that these amphibians are the ones that are helping the system. And we have so many of those amphibians in Canada, in North America, as lobbyists, as activists, as whatever, you can call them and they're not helping democratize Iran and they are against democracy I believe and many of them are silent today 